Okay, this is about making ropes for tops, spin tops. Okay, this is the way I, you know, I started off with on YouTube with uh, wire hangers, and I made about three different styles, three or four different styles, and they all didn't work well because one would be wrapping tighter than the other one, and it was really just a mess. But I did learn something, and this is the way they were they were working, and I I wind it up all, you know, on a four point or four point like this and a three. And then I used the drill and re do my rewind, and just didn't like it. Didn't work that well. It was a waste. It was something to learn. So I, I have a bunch of these. That I just keep to show people. You know, this is what you don't want to do. And then I, this is the first one I got from Chris, connects, and he put it together for me, and it works great. And your drill press, and. Uh, the first, what, what happened was this the yellow driver in the center would break. It's too long, and I just had nothing but trouble. It broke again, so I finally just put a Delrin rod in here, and just put a wood screw in the center to lock it in, and it, it works fine now. And two, what I do is I put CA glue and baking soda around little parts, and that way it stays together. So I've had this for about a year. I've made about like 100, 100 lines experimenting. So, you know, for a small top, you can't beat this. You know, parts are about like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. And, you know, you, uh, for small tops, it's great. Okay, now, when I ordered, I ordered parts to make another one because I wanted a backup. And it's still got the little yellow in there. I'm a uh, driver. And when it breaks, I'll just put a uh, Delron rod in here. So that's my backup. And then I wanted to make a, a six driver. So I took some wood, red oak, and I put my six holes, and I put my little gears in there. And there it is. So I made a six driver. And which will also work as a four, but it's not a square, it's a rectangle. This four driver is a rectangle and I'd like a, the 90 degrees to make a square. So it'll make a good line on a four driver, but on a six driver, it doesn't work. The, the line just falls apart. So, I mean, this I tried all kinds of things, walking it with a dog, top, top dog, and you know, and you name it, and the line just doesn't stay together. It just, it just falls apart. So to me, it's junk. A six driver does not work. And I like to see somebody out there with a, with one of the $200 six drivers, that, you know, for the masters, and actually show, yeah, that it does work, because I couldn't get a six driver to work. And my son told me, well, go eight or go home. So I said, well, maybe the eight will work. So I made an eight. Same thing, the gears, eight drivers. And I put, these rods will tear up your wood, even though it's red oak. So I put Delrin bushings in there, and I put all this work to see if it would work. And an eight work does this, eight eight driver does the same thing. The lines just don't stay on. So this was just these two were a big waste of time. You know, I could use the parts, take them apart. All they did was I actually just lost maybe five bucks, ten bucks, and just wasted time doing this. And these two both have the Delrin rod for a driver with the wood screws. So, you know, I go, okay. So, I'm a, you know, a four driver works. But I want to make a bigger line, like, a, up to a quarter inch. And I like to pull tight. So when you're pulling tight on this, and you're going even, like, three sixteenths, it's just, you know, it just beats this little, little driver up. These are good for a small top. Maybe up to three inch top. So, I ordered this here, the Dillon, and I wanted to put the big gears on it because I just, I like the way they look, man, I go, I gotta try this. So this has got the big gears, five big gears in there, and I put it, and this is, here, here's Dillon, and I ordered the squares that are Dillon, I think they're 5 16 see how, I had to sand them down to about 320, because they were in metric. And at 320, they, they come out fine because they're not flat. And I wanted them flat. So I, I sanded them down. And then I, I got me a drill over there to drill the holes straight. 
you know, and put, drill the first hole, put the gears together, put this gear in, and drill through. And what I did do is I, I put tape on one tooth, just regular tape, where I give it, you know, get away from that gear a little bit to have clearance. Because if you come right up on it, you're gonna, it can be really tight on you. So then I did all these and and you know and went to you know started making line and I think this is four inch. You can order it that way. Yeah, it's close to four inch by four inch square. I got it on eBay. And so this I enjoy for my big big tops and, and a thick line. I like this. And what happened on this one was I had a Delrin rod in here and it. It broke right in the center because all the pressure, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So what I did is I put a piece of tool steel in here. Instead of wood screws, I had to drill it and tap it. And I got three of them in there. And now there's no problem. And right here in the center, this has only got the gear. And it has one little bushing in the back. But up here, I don't have a bushing because it just gave me, seemed to give me, you know, interference. So. It just, in the center here, the center driver, it just has the little blue bushing, then the yellow bushing, and then it's locked in with this one here, and everything everything holds together nice. And this is what works the best. And then I went ahead and put CA and baking soda where these little clips don't fall off. So, you know, so what I would do really is, if you're, you know, you can't beat this, connects, to make your lines for driver, and if you want to make Thicker line, and like I do, pull on it to get a nice tight line, and that's what I want. I don't like the loose lines because they just fall off the top. They don't work properly, and you have to burn your fingers wrapping. But if you get a tight line, you just wrap a sloppy, and it works good. So I would I would uh, buy one of these and put it together for fun, and then when you go to a bigger tops, definitely make one of these. So so far, I'm really impressed with this. And you know, I mean, probably on parts, you you, you might have 20 bucks. $25, you know, and the only thing that's really a pain is, is drill and tapping in the end of the steel. And that's why I bought this drill press. You want to look at the drill press? Before I could get a straight hole. And I'll show you how, how they compare. Here's the Magnificent 8 driver. It doesn't work. And I have it mounted up on my little table. And then we get a rewind. And that was a waste of time to make. Stock connects with the one you want to buy, and I like this little up here. And then you rewind. And if you order this one here, order these little pieces, these little black ones. Because uh, you, you just lose them, and, and I order the little blue spacers and the other a couple of little gray ones because anything that's small does pop off, and, and you will you, you will lose it. Okay, and this what well, the big one here. So this is the one I really enjoy. And I pull on this, and I get nice tight lines. And I don't, I can hold it right here. And then my rewind. And then if you're gonna make a, a left-handed top string, go the other way.
I really like this one. And you get these two, you know, you, you can't go wrong with these two. You know, you do have to, you know, you have, I, I do use the CA, you know, and a baking soda, a little, you know, little things where they don't fly off, instead of putting wood screws in them. But uh, these are both nice and they, you know, rope, line, they work, they work really well. So, let me show you a rope I made right here. And what I, what I also found out too, I, I made like I said, maybe 150 ropes, lines, experimenting. My main problem was make them too loose. I had to really start learning how to tighten them up. And I made a lot of colored rope. It's all pretty with different styles and everything else. And actually to me, a better line is pure white. You don't have the chemicals involved. Chemicals seem to do something. And so, you know, they're not pretty, but the white, the white is actually a better line. If you just use pure white, and this, I think this is 24 Lydia tins, something like that. And, you know, this is the last line I made, and this is my trick top here. It's got a thick neck to do the escalators, very fast top, and this is poplar. And so far, this has turned out to be the best trick top I've, I've made. And uh, mainly because the neck is hollow. This top's very fast. And, and you know, you just, you don't have to line tight. And a lot of line, you know, you make, and if you pull on it, if you want, if, if you do, if you don't, pull on it to make it tight this will just pop right off so this is a beautiful setup right here you know a long line I don't know about 12 feet and I, I throw it like so and you know you should try this you know uh, when you get to a certain if you want good line you really have to make your own because there's certain sizes that you can't get and uh, you actually get a better line making your own out of the out of the Lydia's. So give it a try. Let me know. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, that's a wrap.